Detective John Smith was the best detective in town. He had solved some of the toughest cases and had made a name for himself. But now he was facing his most difficult case yet. The case of the missing library book. It all started one day when John was strolling around town. He passed by the public library and noticed something strange. There was a group of people gathered around the entrance and they were all looking agitated. He decided to investigate and as he approached he heard a young Woma. N's voice. My book is missing. She shouted. I left it right here when I came in an hour ago and now it's gone. John immediately knew that this was the case he had been waiting for. He asked the woman to explain what had happened and she told him that she had gone into the library to return a book and had left it on the desk. When she went back to retrieve it, it was gone. John asked the woman some basic questions like her name, address, and what the book was. He then asked if anyone had seen he. Ah leave the book. One of the bystanders said that he had seen an older man take it. He described the man as having gray hair and a long nose. John was determined to find the missing book. He started by speaking to the library staff and asking if they had seen anyone suspicious in the library that day. They told him that there had been an elderly man with a long nose who had been acting strangely. They said he had been asking strange questions and seemed to be trying to hide something. John then we. NT to the local police station and filed a report. He provided the description of the man and asked the officers to keep an eye out for him. John then decided to start searching for the man himself. He went to the local cafes and bars and asked people if they had seen the man. Unfortunately, no one seemed to recognize him. John was starting to get frustrated. He was about to give up when he had an idea. He remembered that the library had a security camera. He quickly went back to the library and uh, scared the staff if they had the security footage. They told him that they did and gave him access to it. John quickly went through the footage and noticed something strange. The elderly man with the long nose had been caught on camera taking the book. He had then quickly left the library without anyone noticing. John was determined to find the man and the book. He knew he had to act quickly, so he decided to go to the man's last known address. He knocked on the door but no one answered. He then deck. I ded to peek through the window and noticed something strange. The living room was filled with books. John quickly called the police and reported what he had seen. He asked him to come to the address and search the premises. The police arrived and searched the house and eventually found the book in one of the rooms. John was relieved to have finally found the book. He thanked the police for their help and returned the book to the library. John had finally solved the case of the missing library boo. K. He was proud of himself for a job well done. He knew he had done something right and felt a sense of satisfaction. He was happy to have helped the young woman find her book and to have solved such a difficult case.